Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about two special right triangles. The first right triangle is called a 30-60-90 triangle. It is a right triangle where the other two angles are always 30 degrees and 60 degrees. And if we have a triangle that's a 30-60-90, the sides always have this relationship right here. And please um, have a note card or write these down on a piece of paper because I actually want you to have this memorized for your video quiz. Well, the side opposite the 30 degrees is often called the short side and that the hypotenuse is always double the short side and the one opposite the 60 is is if you take the short side and then multiply it by root 3 it will give you the measurement for the side opposite the 60 degrees let's plug in some numbers because again I think that will make a lot more sense so for example if I were to give you that the side opposite the 30 degrees had a measurement of 6. Well, if we look down here, we know that the hypotenuse is always double the short side or double the one opposite the 30 degrees. The hypotenuse would then be 12. We just doubled it. And then the side opposite the 60 degrees would just be whatever the short side is and then times root 3. So the side opposite the 60 degrees would be 6 root 3. Let's put another number in. This time, let's look at um, an occasion if we were given the hypotenuse. So if we were given the hypotenuse, if you, again, look at these relationships here, the short side is always half. So if we just half that, that would give us a length of 10. And then looking down here, that we then would just have to multiply whatever the short side is by root 3, and that would give us the length of the other side. And the reason these relationships are important is that often we only know one side, so we can't use the Pythagorean theorem if we only know one side. But if we have these memorized, we can fill in the blanks and find the other sides. Let's look at another one. This is a 45-45-90 triangle. And again, it's a right triangle, and the other two angles are 45 degrees and 45 degrees. It's an isosceles triangle, so it makes sense that these both would have an X and an X. And then the one opposite the 90 degrees, or the hypotenuse, would always be whatever the legs are, and then times root 2. Please write this down, so maybe put this on pause, because again, I want you to have this one memorized as well. So if we put some numbers in... If I were to given that one of the legs is 6, of course, because it's isosceles, the other one is also going to be 6, and then just take this 6 and then multiply it by root 2, and that will give us the length of the hypotenuse. Let's look at a more challenging example. This time, let's talk about if we are given the hypotenuse. Now, this is, again, a little bit trickier, and you're going to use the same type of format for the ones opposite the 60 degrees. And I'm not expecting you to know this for the video quiz. I just want you to watch it and see if it makes sense. And then when we get to class, we'll practice it. So if I were to give you the hypotenuse, well, if we look that um, the relationship here is the leg times root 2. So to find the leg, what I'm going to do is make it equal to this little formula right here. So I'm going to do 7 equals x root 2 to solve for x, and that will give me the legs. Um, just using your basic algebra, divide both sides by 2, that will get the x by itself, and then um, that is the length of the leg here and the leg here. The only problem is we have to go one more step because this is not proper. We need to rationalize the denominator. We cannot have a radical in the denominator. So I need to multiply the top and bottom by root 2 and that will give me 7 root 2 over 2 because again root 2 times root 2 is root 4 which is just 2. So that gives me the length of one of my legs and of course because it's isosceles the other one would have the same measurement as well. I'll see you in class. I hope this works because it didn't record my voice last time. I'm going to be really mad. 
Hi everyone, today we are going to learn about two special right triangles. The first one is called a 30-60-90 triangle and it is oh, blah 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 and that is that the side opposite the 30 degrees and I we always call it the short side the short side um, well the hypotenuse will always be double the short side I missed up again. Uh, 